Good day, and thank you for taking your time to learn about this Kirkman Road, also known as State Road 435 Extension Project. The purpose of this public hearing is to share information about the Kirkman Road Extension Project. This public hearing also serves as an official forum to give you the opportunity to express your opinions and concerns about this project. At the conclusion of this presentation, attendees who completed a speaker's card upon registering at the door will be given an opportunity to speak into a microphone. Project staff will also distribute speaker's cards to additional attendees who wish to make a verbal statement. An official transcript is being made of all oral proceedings and will be part of the public record for this project. This public hearing is being held in accordance with Section 339.155 Florida Statutes Section 339.199 Florida Statutes, Section 120.525 Florida Statutes, and Section 286.011 Florida Statutes. This public hearing was advertised consistent with federal and state requirements and is being conducted consistent with the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990. This hearing is being conducted without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, FDOT District 5 Coordinator, at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state. Dot fl dot us. A public meeting was held on November 8th of this year to gather initial input about the project. This public hearing serves as the second opportunity for the public to make comment about this project. This public hearing was advertised through various methods, including over 2,100 letters to property owners and tenants within the project area newspaper advertisements in the Orlando Sentinel on December 2nd and December 11th, emails to over 100 local elected and appointed officials and other identified stakeholders, advertisement in the Florida Administrative Register on December 4th, 2018, and press release. There are three primary components to tonight's hearing. First, the open house which occurred prior to this presentation, where you were invited to view the project displays and to speak directly with the project team and provide your comments in writing or to the court reporter. Second, this presentation, which will explain the project purpose and need, an overview of the project and next steps. And third, a formal comment period following this presentation where you will have the opportunity to provide oral statements at the microphone or you may continue to provide your comments to the court reporter or in writing. The purpose of this project is to improve regional mobility and increase local accessibility to the transportation network and supports the area covered by Orange County's iDrive Vision Plan, including the Orange County Convention Center Lockheed Martin Corporation, Universal Orlando, and the UCF Rosen School of Hospitality Management. The need for this project is reinforced by two primary factors, accommodating substantial growth anticipated within the region and providing improved systems continuity. We will reevaluate the purpose and need at the conclusion of the project overview. The limits for the proposed Kirkman Road Extension Project is from Universal Boulevard to Carrier Drive. Today, the southern end of Kirkman Road ends at Sand Lake Road with an interchange. This project includes a proposed extension of Kirkman Road South, connecting to Universal Boulevard at the existing intersection with Trade Show Boulevard. The project's divided into two segments. From Universal Boulevard up to just south of Sand Lake Road is proposed to be within Orange County's jurisdiction 
and from Sand Lake Road up to Carrier Drive is proposed to be within FDOT's jurisdiction. The total project length is approximately 1.7 miles. Taking a look at the region, there are several major corridors near the project area, including I-4, Florida's Turnpike, and State Road 528, also known as the Beach Line Expressway. Additionally, there are heavily traveled thoroughfares nearby, like International Drive, Universal Boulevard, and Sand Lake Road. The project goals provide another north-south corridor within the growing area to facilitate both local and regional travel and provide additional access for the developing area. As with every FDOT project, regional stakeholders play an important role in assuring the local vision and needs are met with the proposed improvements. The regional partners involved include Orange County, Universal, FDOT, Lockheed Martin, City of Orlando, Universal Boulevard Property Owners Association, University of Central Florida Rosen College of Hospitality Management, Orange County Convention Center, Metroplan Orlando, and Lynx. These stakeholders will continue to be engaged throughout the life of this project, including the construction phase. This exhibit provides an overview of the regional network and upcoming roadway improvements. State Road 528 is currently under construction for the addition of express lanes from I-4 to McCoy Road. Also currently under construction, Sand Lake Road is being widened and reconstructed from International Drive to the Florida's Turnpike. The I-4 Beyond the Ultimate Segment 2 is from Central Florida Parkway to Kirkman Road and is currently in the design and right-of-way acquisition phases. Orange County is currently working on the design plans for adding transit lanes along International Drive from Destination Parkway to Sand Lake Road and along Universal Boulevard from Via Mercado to Sand Lake Road. This project, the Kirkman Road Extension, serves as a key link for providing better regional and local connectivity. The planned developments within the region include an expansion of the Orange County Convention Center with additional multi-purpose venue and meeting room space, an expansion of the Lockheed Martin Corporation that includes additional office space, expansion of the UCF Rosen School of Hospitality Management to provide additional space, and approximately 1,365 total acres owned by Universal City Development Partners for future development. These planned developments further drive the need for additional capacity and connections within the area. Like every FDOT project, the no-build alternative is considered a viable option until a recommended alternative is selected and approved by the local government. The no-build alternative assumes no roadway improvements beyond planned and programmed improvements to nearby facilities. Considering the effects of the planned developments, growth in traffic is anticipated, ultimately putting a strain on the existing roadway network. If the no-build alternative is selected, the additional traffic expected from these planned developments will result in significantly decreased roadway service conditions in this area. Additionally, the purpose and need for this project will not be met, including providing additional regional connectivity, added local accessibility, and safety enhancements. The proposed build alternative includes extending the existing Kirkman Road south of Sand Lake Road to Universal Boulevard. The project will include a joint jurisdictional effort where the Florida Department of Transportation will be managing and maintaining the northern segment from the northern Lockheed Martin property line to Carrier Drive. Orange County will be managing and maintaining the southern segment from Universal Boulevard to the northern Lockheed Martin property line. 
The project will also include a redesigning and reconfiguration of the existing Sand Lake Road overpass at Kirkman Road. This presentation will walk through the proposed build alternative corridor extension and explain what is being proposed and how it will assist with regional connectivity, future congestion relief, and regional mobility. If approved, Orange County will manage and maintain the southern section from Universal Boulevard to the northern Lockheed Martin property boundary, which is just south of Sand Lake Road. The southern end of the proposed Kirkman Road extension begins at the existing Universal Boulevard and Trade Show Boulevard intersection. The proposed roadway concept for this southern section will include seven to eight general travel lanes, dedicated bus lanes, and a 12-foot multi-use path separated from the roadway by an 8-foot landscaped buffer. The northern section from the northern Lockheed Martin property boundary to Carrier Drive will be managed and maintained by FDOT. Similar to the southern segment, the corridor will provide nine general travel lanes, dedicated bus lanes, and a 12-foot multi-use path with an 8-foot landscaped buffer. As previously mentioned, the existing Sand Lake Road overpass over Kirkman Road will be reconfigured with the proposed extension. The interchange will be reconstructed from a free-flow fully directional to a single-point urban interchange. This will allow Kirkman Road to pass underneath Sand Lake Road uninterrupted while still providing a signalized connection for those needing to utilize Sand Lake Road. The project ends at the existing Kirkman Road and Carrier Drive intersection. The roadway typical section for the Kirkman Road extension is designed as an urban typical section with curb and gutter, underground drainage, and four-foot shoulders. As previously described, the roadway will accommodate between seven and nine general-use travel lanes with dedicated bus lanes and a 12-foot multi-use trail on one side of the roadway accommodating pedestrians and bicycles. The recommended alternative includes two asphalt pavement 12-foot bus lanes separated and wholly contained in the median, continuously along Kirkman Road. The dedicated bus lanes are designed for limited access and may be restricted based on mode of transit and other technologies, which are still being considered along with the regional partners. Access to the bus lines will be at Carrier Drive and south of Sand Lake Road. As part of the development of the Kirkman Road Extension Project, a review of the area was conducted to determine potential impacts to existing environmental features, inclusive of the natural, social, and physical environment. The environmental analysis evaluation included wetlands, floodplains, listed species and their habitat, cultural, historic, and Section 4F resources, contamination, air quality, and noise. These reviews are conducted to meet all federal and state rules and regulations. Further analysis and coordination with jurisdictional agencies will be conducted during the design phase to meet permit requirements for the project. This project evaluated the two alternatives described earlier in the presentation. The alternatives were then compared to determine the ability to meet the purpose and need of the project. As a recap, the purpose of this project is to improve regional mobility and increase local accessibility to the transportation network. The need for the project is to accommodate substantial growth anticipated within the region and provide improved systems continuity. The recommended alternative, as described tonight, provides regional mobility as well as increased local accessibility to the transportation network. This alternative is also favorable for the anticipated growth and associated travel demand for the area and will enhance the safety characteristics of the transportation network 
As a result, the build alternative is recommended for advancement by FDOT. Final approval will be needed from the local government to move forward to the next phases. Design will be one of the drivers of this project. Currently, the project is at 30% design. Agreements with various governmental and private partners are also key components for this project to move forward. The project's timeline is currently an effort in progress and a clearer picture should emerge in the coming year. There are several ways you can get involved and provide feedback on this project. We encourage you to engage in conversation with the staff here tonight to discuss your questions about the project. You can submit written comments using the forms available at the welcome table and around the room. You can submit those comment forms in the Dropbox here tonight by mail to FDOT Project Manager Todd Alexander at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 552, Deland, Florida, 32720, or by email to Alexander at dot.state.fl.us. Written comments received or postmarked no later than December 28, 2018, will become part of the public record for this public hearing. You can also provide an oral comment at the conclusion of this presentation. Our personnel will be distributing speakers cards to those in the audience who have not received one and would like to make a statement. A court reporter will record your statement and a verbatim transcript will be made of all oral proceedings at this hearing. If you do not wish to speak at the microphone, you may present your comments in writing or directly to the court reporter. Each method of submitting a comment carries equal weight. Thank you for attending tonight's public hearing for the Kirkman Road Extension Project. For additional information, please contact Todd Alexander at the information provided.